Happy Monday, fire signs. All right, if you missed this morning's TikTok Live, then I highly recommend you watch that video along with this one because it was a big message. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to what's working for you, what's working against you. I'm sorry, what's working against you, what's working for you, and then what's hidden underneath or what's unseen. Uh, I just was led to do that, so that's what we're going to do this week, okay? So as usual, we're going to use the Akashic Tarot and then clarify with the traditional tarot. So let's see what we need to know for fire signs this week. We have the full moon happening tomorrow. You need to release and manifest. We have a lot, a lot happening this month, and you'll hear about it all when you watch the weekly tarot reveal, okay? All right, so let's see what's working against you. We have the Seven of Roses, the journey in reverse. What's working for you? We have the One of Keys, the architect in reverse. And then what's unseen? The Seven of Keys, the ascent in reverse. Goodness. I mean, it doesn't surprise me, though, that we see all these reversals because that's kind of what we saw this morning for Monday through Thursday, except for Thursday, there was a nice surprise. <laughs> all right. Let me move this up just a tad so we can see it closer. Okay, so when we see the Seven of Roses, the journey in reverse, as something working against you, this would indicate that there are past things that didn't quite work out, and it feels like you're maybe stagnant, you're stuck, you're, you maybe keep repeating old cycles, going, you know, seeing, seeing the same scenery, <laughs> that kind of thing. So let's get the tarot and see what we need to know. This week is all about, whoops, checking yourself, reflecting. It's really cool. Okay. So we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, okay? And the, ooh, the Queen of Pentacles. So there's a there's been a desire to change something in your material world, okay? Now this would be something around the home. Uh, it could be your finances, could be your health but it feels like maybe there's a roadblock, okay? And it's definitely would be because there's past things that didn't work out, like you didn't reach what you thought you were supposed to reach. Now, don't feel bad because it literally could just mean that um, it wasn't meant for you, okay? But there is the opportunity to change all of this around because what's working for you is we have the architect in reverse, so what has fallen apart or what didn't work out, you're getting the opportunity to create something new, to create a new path. Ooh, the King of Swords. Look, that's a feminine version of King of Swords. And we have the Page of Cups. Ooh, I love this. Okay. So this is really the King of Swords as a feminine version would be really aligning to your divine self. And then we have the Page of Cups as far as bringing in, like really manifesting, okay? Because the Page of Cups is a psychic energy. It's a messenger. It's telling you that if you want to create with your divinity, right? You see the stars and whatnot aligning. If you want to create, then you got to lead with the heart and you have to not limit yourself because this is also a card of, uh, kind of like when pigs fly, anything's possible. So that's really exciting. Oh, goodness. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I have a new puppy and he just walked by and knocked my whole setup over. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, you, I mean, you can really tell this is live or, you know what I'm saying? That's funny. He was kind of looking at me like, what just happened? Okay, so what is unseen? We have the ascent and reverse. So it's interesting, we have the seven of keys and we have the seven of roses here. He's gonna do it again. Goodness gracious. Sorry, y'all, I'll have to adjust this for next time. Make sure he's resting or something. He's trying to sit under my feet and he keeps hitting my charger cord. Anyways, okay, so we have the seven of roses the seven of keys, 
on either side, okay? Seven is a highly spiritual number. When we see the ascent in reverse, this is indicating that you feel like you've hit some really tough obstacles. It's kind of like the seven of wands where you're not so sure if you can overcome whatever has not worked out here. But let's pull a couple of cards. Ooh, we have the Knight of Cups. Yep, moving forward through the heart. And the Three of Pentacles. Absolutely, okay? So if you're feeling like things haven't worked out, if you're feeling like some insecurity as far as, I don't know if I can overcome this. I don't know if this is meant for me. You have very positive cards here. This is confirming this. This is confirming that when you move forward with the heart space, when you dig deep in the emotions, in the internal self, and you start making plans, just like the King of Swords, right? They are designing their life. They are connecting to that divine energy. The masculine virgin version of the King of Swords is using the logical mind. When this is feminine, it's really designing by using that divine um, essence, okay? And so we have the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups. There's a lot of focus on the heart space, okay? We are in Leo season. Leo rules the heart, okay? We have Venus retrograde. So this is us revisiting things that haven't worked out, how would we like to do things differently now? And then we start making a plan. We start building on even just the tiniest bit of progress. And you really want to pay attention to the people that you have surrounding you. Are they building too? Or are they just like sitting on their butts, not doing anything? Okay. It's going to be really telling when you start really looking around at what's going on around you. So let's get this deck. I apologize for reaching over. Let's see what else we need to know. We have the bear. So the bear just instinctually knows to gather the necessities they need for like to make it through hibernation, okay? They know what they need to do to protect themselves, to, to, to protect their energy, to protect their family, okay? Think about mama bear. The mama bear is the one that protects the cubs against anything that wants to attack it, which is funny because I was watching a nature show, I think it was yesterday, the day before, and they were going over just that very thing, <laughs> I guess they knew that uh, that would pop up. So they're like, here, watch this. <laughs> Which we all know the mama bear, right? But it was really interesting to watch. So let's see. We have Invitation. What are you inviting in your life? Remember how I said, look around you and see, see who you're uh, spending time with, see what you're participating in, really evaluate what you are inviting into your life. We have three and seven. What you surround yourself represents you, okay? Uh, let's get one of these. Oops. door to spirit. Look at that. It's wide open. I told you there are major shifts happening, especially tomorrow. And then we'll have one on the 8th, which is the Lionsgate portal. If you have not gotten on my list to have your energy cleansed on the Lionsgate portal, what are you waiting for? <laughs> okay. The connection is strong right now. The, the portal is already opening, but it will peak on the 8th. Okay. So the connection is really strong right now and you decide what you're going to do with it. You decide if you're going to um, 
make changes with that connection or are you going to stay the same? Look at that, magician sword, confidence and your magic. I feel wholeheartedly, it's number 37. Again, we have two 37s here. So I wholeheartedly feel like that goes with the king of swords. Let me set this down so I can show you. Because look, doesn't it look like she holds, it's kind of like a sword, but it's a big needle. She's sewing her design, okay? So she's creating, creating her own destiny. All right. I don't know what else to tell y'all. This is this is getting strong. And in the in the morning readings, you know, we're getting more and more of the same cards. And that shows that we have a big shift happening. It's happened before and it's happening again, especially when we're getting repeating numbers like this. 37 might be an important number to you. But 37 also would represent you expressing your highest essence, your highest divinity, okay? Allowing that to shine through and being the creator of whatever it is that you want, knowing that anything's possible. Oh, and I just realized we have the three of pentacles with the seven there. It's just interesting. <laughs> Look, we have darkness, the moon, there's a seven. We have the moon coming tomorrow, the super full moon. We have two super full moons in August. Huge, huge energy. So this is you really connecting to that spiritual space, really connecting to the magic of the universe, to releasing with the moon. Let's see what else. Look at that. Bask in the joy and light, summer. Bees re represent abundance. Okay? They represent honey, right? The sweetness. And honey represents abundance. Summer is a time where we grow the most. I mean, springtime, yes, but summer, we get the vitamin D. We feel happier. We go and travel. It's just a really nice time. Okay, so this is a really positive reading. This is about you creating your destiny, knowing, like use that sense of wonderment. Use that Page of Cups energy where you think anything is possible and you start creating that impossibility. <laughs> You're getting the opportunity, the door to spirit, like it says, it's wide open. So what do you want? Show gratitude that it's already there. Don't, don't ask for something because you're affirming that it's not there. You're going to stay in that space. Show gratitude for what you want, like it's already there, because then it has to exist, okay? All right, my loves, have a wonderful week. Make sure you go check out the weekly tarot reveal, and make sure you get into the VIP Soul Collective. Both are um, linked in the description below, okay? Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Like I said, I love to hear y'all's progress and I'll see you next week.